We as Kenyans are as unique as the country we live in. We express ourselves in many different ways, be it through writing, music, comedy, and furniture. Yeah, I'm as confused as you are, but I'm here at Corner Trust to meet two guys who have translated their expressionism and their art into something very unique. Art imitates life, and life imitates art. It's the perfect scenario. I'm told the artists I'm about to meet are just that. Though they make furniture, the question I have to ask is, if someone makes furniture, then why not call themselves a carpenter or a furniture maker for that matter? I guess we'll find out. But first up, I got to meet a man whose art is completely influenced by the media. You've probably seen his pieces around. If you saw them, you certainly wouldn't forget them. He's begun delving into furniture, or furniture art maybe. His name is Michael Soy, and he is most known for his series of paintings called The Fat Cats, paintings that address the issue of corruption. He's recently been working on a series of work that revolves around the Nairobi nightlife, with special emphasis on the emergence of strip clubs in Nairobi. But he's another artist that has begun making furniture as well. I'm more of a painter, more than anything else, and um, the kind of work that I do is the kind of work that, I mean, basically affects uh, the normal Kenyan every single day, things that they go through. It's work that is heavily influenced by the media, and I mean, I really love working with newspapers. What I do is that, I mean, I get clippings and uh, headlines, cut them out, stick them on canvas and work around them. So what is happening right now, I mean, this is uh, supposed to be two-seater benches, and uh, what I'm trying to do, I mean, the kind of patterns that I'm employing in the, in the benches is uh, patterns that are influenced by traditional Giriyama totem poles called the Vigango, because, I mean, they were traditionally objects that were used after somebody died in the village to kind of like, you know, ward off evil spirits. So, I mean, what I did with, my, with the Vigango is that I, mean, I kind of like just take them, take out the spirituality part of it and just remain with the sculptural bit of it. So this is what I'm doing right now. So, I mean, I've actually like been working on these patterns and I've decided to basically trend, transfer them to my benches. It's more of trying to make it more functional and uh, hence creating the bench. A melting pot of artists, visionaries, and creatives. That's what Kuona Trust is. And one man who's leading the way here is a man named Gakunju Kaigua. He's this man right here. And he's taken sculpture to a whole new level. How are you doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> Told you I'd be coming by. I'm, I'm, so this, this, is, this is it. This is, this is basically what you do. This is what I do. Yeah. Right. Now, the question I've, I've been wanting to ask you since I, I knew I was going to come and visit you was, is this art or is it furniture? Um, I like to think of it as both, really, um, and and there's there's really no reason why it should be one or the other, in a sense. And you've got stools that are just that, you know, just stools. Um, what I'm trying to do here is to give it a, a sort of a, a different dimension, in the sense that you kind of have an option whether to use it as, as a stool, mm -hmm. or you know, you might have it as something purely decorative that sure. you never sit on, basically. Right. So, um, and <clears throat> the interesting thing about the form of the piece is it's um, it's an abstract form and lots of people see different things in it. It's sort of like the perspective of looking at clouds in a way. I mean, you sort of see something and, and I may see a, a rabbit or a dog and you may see something completely different. Precisely. Everybody brings their own imagination. You can actually sit on it from any angle, by the way, which I might ask you to do. I, I may just do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tell me about this piece here. Um, this is sort of... Uh, the second, I suppose, in the in the series, um, and I'm not sure how many others I'm going to do, but um, and this is roughed out. Hello. Now, I've been dying to ask you about this one. <laughs> this is the largest bench. If I'm not wrong, it's a bench. Yes, it is. That yeah. I've ever seen in my life, mm -hmm. and I don't even can't even begin to think of the time it must take. Um, yeah, to this put was, something like this together. You're looking at anywhere from about 10 days. I don't know if I'm giving away too many secrets. No, yet. it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I've had, you know, like 10 people sit on it just to sort of give it a road test. And it's, Ten. it's very, very solid, yeah. Well, I think if, if, if we can get in perspective of the camera here, just to show you <laughs> so how big it actually there. is, mm. right? Okay. I'm not the biggest guy in the world, but I'm not the smallest guy in the world either. And yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, it's I could probably put 12 of me on probably here. Probably 12, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. This is fantastic. Hey, hey, hey. 
I mean, this place really is one of a kind. The Corner Trust began in 1995 at the National Museum of Kenya. It was created to serve visual arts and since then has worked with over 1,500 artists, giving them skills and opportunities to advance themselves. It also plays a massive role in increasing the profile and awareness of visual arts in Kenya and is still one of the oldest institutes in East Africa that provides skills training and opportunities exclusively for the visual arts. And let me tell you, in Kenya, that's a huge accomplishment. Oh, by the way, this is one of my one of my sculptures. This one? Yeah. Okay. Mm. So this is where it all, this, this is, I guess if someone to say what you do, you're a sculptor. I am a sculptor. Right. Yes, and it I translates am. obviously into your furniture. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and what is this piece all about? I mean, it's... Um, I call it Genesis. Um, and it explores how interconnected all aspects of nature are, regardless of, you know, the animal and the plant worlds kind of interrelate. Well, I've got to say, Akunji, thank you so much for spending the day with us. Hey. really appreciate it. And it's so nice to see how art transforms into furniture, which was something I was questioning when I was coming in here. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Again, I it's really appreciate pleasure. the time. My pleasure. Thanks, my man. Thank you. Cheers.